Greetings fellow penguins, it's Danish here. We are back with Okami. Right, when we left off, we just got into Suta Ruins. Now then, let's cut the bullshit and just get straight to it, why don't we? Hell if I went the right way. Oh Christ, no, no, none of these assholes. And a fucking radish. Ooh, a steel soul sake. And another fucking chest. Where are the vase? Or vase. I don't know which is I don't know which is the fucking Americanization and which is the Britishization. Whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. Come on. Ah, come on. There we go. One hundred and thirty praise. Well, I could fill my um, solar energy, I suppose. Not really much else to do, is there? Ah, uh, no! Fuck off! Oh shit! Just a quick look round. Okay, nothing I can do. So what have we got? Come on! Uh, it's an incense burner. Literally the only use for treasures in this game is to sell the fuckers. That's really all we can do with it. Unless there's some, like, really obscure use for them that I'm unaware of. I believe treasures, and fish for that matter, are only useful for selling. And, and will always be likely be your main source of cash. Well, for the first half of the game, anyway. Okay, what, what now? Did you really need to show me that? I'd like to think I could have worked that bit out myself, but okay. Come on. There we go. Oh, a steel fist sake. Temporarily increases attack. Okay, we can't do shit with this. Oh dear. New enemy. Oh, we gotta fuck this guy up and we can't actually do anything. Come on. No. Ah, oh, don't hit me with your dick. Come on. Alright, if I can just stun him. There we go. Now's a chance to extra rush, so I think it's probably a tough one if you can open its bud. Yes, we can. Alright, floor finisher. Yes! Apparently that was too slow. I'm not even going to question it. Well, either way... Come on, down you go. Down you go, you little fucker. And you know what, let's just cut all this. Come on, there we go. You see, this, this is why I concentrated so much on getting that golden lucky cat. It, 
makes all the tiny little collecting so much easier. Don't freeze me in the air! How lovely there's two of them this time. At least. Come on. Oh, shit. Come on! Yes! Just barely pulled it off with enough ink. Okay, um, can't do shit with these things just yet. Need a better vantage point. Nope. Yeah, the size of these mushrooms. Kind of feel sorry for them though. It's all gloomy down here. That little sunshine will perk them up. Oh, okay, we can go in here. Never mind. Vengeance slip. Okay, um... So where do I get this, um, where can I draw it? Up there. There we go. That's what we wanted. Just because I can. Oh wow, it's the fucking power cut is necessary. Oh wow, a gourd. And our astro pouch is full. Come on. Hang on, just a quick. Oh no, never mind. There's, there's fuck all to do here. A sec. My nose has felt all itchy since those huge mushrooms back there. It's a new little shit! Running! Running! Oh wow, I can even attract that shit from here. Okay, no, we can't do shit here. You I think we already know what we need. So let's find ourselves a key and stab that random lock in the face. I fucking missed the jump. Oh, this is the asshole we saw earlier. Ah, I am Blockhead. I guard this place so that all shall pass. Wait, make that none shall pass. Do you really think you can penetrate my airtight defenses? Ah, impossible. Nothing can harm this body of mine. Of course, there are those weak points of mine. A clean blow there would slay me in an instant. But I wouldn't be foolish enough to expose such a weakness. I'll be on your way, none shall. Not pass. 
Right then, this first one's not so hard. Tackle him and then that um, exposes the weak points. Boom! With my weak points so obvious, I have failed, but let it be known that I died a warrior's death. There will be more blockheads, and trust me, they're going to be so much more annoying. The last of which is optional, but sometimes genuinely feels impossible. Oh, come on. Like, there we go. An exercising arrow in the shape of a key. To gamers, it is literally just a fucking key. Right, the camera angle doesn't help this bit. Okay, that's a bit better. Come on, come on. If we went for the fucking shadow, I'd be having so much more trouble with this. Slightly painful, but okay. Oh, fucking lovely. Again, exorcism slip S. Just give me the fucking money. Oh, shite. Come on. Okay, got him, at least. And him. Oh, I was expecting one of the larger assholes. Oh, right. How many was that? Like five demon fangs? Oh, we know what to do here. Yeah! Right. Ooh, origin mirror. Um, here it is. of those demon gates. No, sorry, it's devil gate, isn't it? I forget. Oh, there's three of them. Shit. Yes! Counted like a little bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, yes, I blocked it. I actually blocked it.
fuck, I didn't mean to finish him off with that. Set. I don't know how to say that. Ah, oh, shite. You're not getting me. Not a chance. Yes! It is possible to finish it off with, like, you know, a power cut floor finisher, but if you do that, you don't get the demon fang. Like I said before, certain... Floor finishers, most of them work with most enemies, but every enemy has a certain one that will give you the Demon Fang. Right, okay, once again, gotta find a spot to... There we go. That's what we wanted. see the problem. They look, they look like fucking cats. That's one, that's two. That's the last of them. Looks like the poison was polluting the looks like the poison that was polluting the water has completely cleared up. Now it looks like a great place for a swim. There's even a waterfall. I bet it'd be loads of fun to go straight down it. What I meant What I meant was a playful dog like Umi might do that. I haven't forgotten about what we're looking for, have you? And of course, I haven't given up on damn some treasure either. Oh, speaking of which. Hey! Dungeon map! It doesn't fucking work! You lied to me! Damn you, Issen, you lied to me! Whoa, shit! Okay. Fairly simple. I assume there's three of these things.
At least starting to build up on that praise now, aren't we? That's what we're talking about. Constellation. Not that light. There's a constellation here too. Wait, question mark. <laughs> and it looks like the final monkey. Here we are. Well the fuck done. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Ai, Suzagami, the last of the, in the triumvirate of ha Hanagami Flora Gods. I can't even speak again. I've humbly waited your glorious return for 100 years. May the fresh spring growth bloom from your snow white form. Bring new life to the land that suffers under evil. Alright, so now we have the power of Sutagami. And the screen cuts out. There we go. That was Sutagami, the third and final god of Flora. He's the god that can make vines do his bidding. One folk tale tells how Sutagami used that power to tie vines to his body so that he could fly through the air. Hey, that's a Konohana blossom. The flower of the gods over there. Try making a found sprout right, sprout right out of it. Very simple, just draw a fucking line. Fig. I'm sure you're to have a god around. You can draw out vines when the Konohana blossom is open. Let's look around to see if any others are blooming. So the camera focuses onto it. And there's another one. Oh, there's a couple. This is... There we go. Just managed to get in range by jumping. Kind of cheating, but oh well. No, don't twat the fucking rock. Right then. Yeah, I get it. There is a pathway there. I did see that. Can I? There we go. Alright, come on. There it is. Okay. Okay, one more. This one obviously can't land on. And there goes my fucking power. There we go. And one more. Down we go. Alright, oh, more of this fucking bollocks. Clean cut. Oh, fucking missed one. Uh. 
Two treasure chests. Godhood tips, again. And another holy bone. Oh dear. You really gonna go in there? Really? Are you serious? I'm getting a real bad vibe here. What's beyond this door? You sure we're ready? Maybe we should go back outside. Alright then, let's go for it. Leap first, think later. Oh, look, Emmy. There's a golden gate. It'll store the memories of all you've done if you pass through it. That way, if you ever die, you can start over again from that point. There's a free pass to continue with your game even after you mess up. But it does have its limits. The sword memories will be wiped clean if you quit the game. If you use an origin mirror to save the game, your memories will be transferred there. Either way, pass through a golden gate or save an origin mirror will allow you to continue on your adventure. Might as well pass on through. So yeah, this is basically a quick save rather than a full, or a full on save. Nice going, furball. I keep telling you, keep telling you not to space out like that. Huh? And something moved. Oh. Check out this big old flower. We just might have stumbled onto something here. Flowers like this are usually just packed with treasure. Hey, is that a dog down there? Go, wolf breath. Walk covered with your slobber again. Check out that shadow, I see it. Wait, it couldn't be. Who's that dog that has been sniffing about? I will not allow you to ruin my master's triumphant return. Oh shit! Sticking your nose where it does not belong will get you killed. Speak your last words, fool. I love how Ami just fucking sits there, doesn't even give a shit. How dare you! Dog is not usually on my menu, but I shall make you an exception. What are you talking about? I saw that dog you gobbled up. And besides, this ain't no dog, this here is a god. And now the beast can speak. Very well then, I shall send you back to where you came from. It shall not hurt a bit, stand still for just a moment. Boss fight! A fairly simple one. I will be honest, in true Zelda fashion, this is not too difficult. I don't mean to shit talk Zelda, but let's be perfectly honest. Zelda's boss battles are not known for being massively tough, are they?
And I mean that that isn't always a bad point. However, Zelda bosses are known for being far too easy. I've not really faced up against a Zelda, a Zelda boss that's given me a significant amount of trouble. Especially once you know exactly what you need to do. Which never takes long to figure out. I mean, some bosses that are pathetically obvious with, with their um, weak points. Oh fuck, no! No, too close! Come on, come on! I told you it was simple. There we go, done! Already! That's it! Not much of a boss fight. Oh. And thus Samatarasu was able to traverse the vine-covered ruins and defeat the devious Spider Queen lurking within. The ugly arachnid's body had been turned into a beautiful blossom, and a feeling of tranquility reigned throughout the ruins. Inside the hearty blossom was, a, was discovered a tiny and defenceless dog, presumably consumed by the fearsome queen. Just when everything had begun to settle down, a snarling beast, a weapon long sealed away by the Spider Queen's magic, appeared before Amaterasu's eyes. New weapon! New reflector weapon. Contain divine instrument, snarling beast. Reflector marked with a beastly seal grants ink bullet power. Explain that another time. Spider Queen is hiding a sacred weapon, tricky old bag. Maybe we'll get more weapons if we defeat some other monsters. Anyway, can't wait to see what this one does. Look at that, Ami. The dog's just sleeping. Wonder if this is Umi. You know, the dog the kid was looking for. Let's bring him back once he wakes up. But first, how about a good victory howl? Might even wake him up. Because that happens after every fucking boss battle. Ah, oh, wasn't fast enough. Son of a bitch. Yes, I would like to save the fucking game. Actually, no. No, I don't. Just in case the fucking footage fu fucks up again. Like it did with Exodus. Um, since, like, before that, I hadn't done that since Spyro 2. Bad doggy! Give me back my key, I gotta go save Umi quick! Umi, is that you? Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? It must have been so scary all alone. What's wrong, Umi? About your dog, kid. He was deep within the ruins and he didn't seem to want to leave. Really? How come, Umi? You mad at me for running away without you? You got it all wrong, kid. You only think you left your dog behind. Truth is, he decided to stay at the ruins himself. He did? Why? Maybe he was trying to set an example by showing you how anyone... Even a dog could have an adventure. Look at it this way. There's not much separating a boy from a man. 
You grow up before you know it and accomplish great things. I see. So I guess you knew everything in me. Like how my dad told me to go fix the bridge destroyed by the storm. And how I tried to get out of it because I was scared of failing. Your fearless adventure has changed me. You gave me the courage to stop shirking responsibility. My dad's fishing pole! I lost that in the forest some time ago. You sniff it out in those ruins all by yourself? Well, I'm gonna fix that bridge all by myself. Why is dad gonna be surprised? All right, well we better follow the little asshole so he doesn't, so he doesn't fuck it up. Well, first of all, how many? Sixteen. Not enough. Nowhere near enough. We need more demon fangs. Hey! Ah, soon the rope to the other side, look! Hey, you there! Get that rope out of my way! Oh, shit! Susano? What's going on? My new secret technique, imploding barrel flying monkeys, was a flop. I ended up being washed downstream on this tree trunk. Here he comes, hold on to that fishing pole, kid. No, wait, let go of it. No, you guys, I said let go. What the fuck is Amy grabbing onto? Slash your brush quick. Right, this gets a little annoying. Can't wait. Alright, there's one. There's two. You can see in the screen you actually have a, a limited amount of time you can freeze time, otherwise you can just keep tapping R1 until one of those um, blossoms show up. But every successful one you get... Shit, I missed it. Every successful one you get gives you about four or five more. Not that it matters. Oh, and you are timed as well, but still, you're given more than enough time. thought we were goners. It all worked out. Just look at that new bridge. Did I do that? That's right. It was all you, kid. Don't know what was eating you, but you'll never get anywhere in life running from adventure. You should thank your doggy for teaching you that. I couldn't have done it without you and me. Hey, where'd Pops go? I'm sure, it take more than that to kill the guy. He's bound to pop up somewhere again. Say what you will about Susano. He is fucking stubborn. Not the easiest little asshole to kill. No, ink bullet. Right, about that. Speaking of which, let's equip my new weapon. Snarling Beast. Basically, I'm not going to set that as my sub because I prefer Reflector. Basically, ink bullet power, while you're in battle, you basically draw dots on your enemies and it damages them. Taka Pass lies ahead. Great plains in the mountains. Let's prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. Well, let's get going, you big furball. Let's get going indeed!
So it's like a pass has been cursed too. But we'll find a wither guardian sapling around here. Right, let's do a bit of shopping. That's another place that's changed for the worst. Where, sir, where is your mouth? And for that matter, where is your nose? Where is anything? You are missing half of your face, sir. I don't, what, I don't know what you are. What on earth are you? It used to be so nice relaxing the divine wind up here. Now it's just stopped blowing altogether. That means I'm hardly doing any trade in talismans at all. And there aren't many travellers coming by selling things either. Fresh fish from Agatha Forest would fetch a fortune right now. There doesn't seem to be any good fishermen there anymore. Anyway, enough of my complaining. Been sent to buy something, Pooch. Selling! You see what I mean? Okay, let's get five of each. There we go. That's about all we need right now. Now then, let's try and get to that sapling. Okay, is it just me, or does the snarling beast look a little too big for Amy? Especially from the back. I missed the fucking horse. Hark, the call of... Oh, Christ. The call of the heavens, the earth, the sea. They summon me forth to defeat evil. Oh, look who decided to show up. This guy again. Waka, the god's gift to man, is here. Bonjour. You again. Long time no see. Did you enjoy the little log adventure I prophesied? Why you, were you behind that near disaster? Moi? Of course not. I just had a fleeting glimpse of your future. You see, I have the power to see that which is yet to come. Even if it were something you'd rather not know. The half-big prophet's at it again. If you're so great, then how come you didn't pr predict Orochi's return? What's wrong, cat got your tongue? Excuse him, what? Did you, you say something, my little bouncing friend? He was fucking daydreaming. That's it. By the way, I saw your battle with the spider lady. A rather clumsy attempt, I must say. What could a washed up old wolf like you possibly expect to save the world? Ridiculous. What, you were spying on our battle? And it never crossed your mind that you could help out. Enough talk. There's only one way to settle this. Fucking lightsaber. Just go for it. Oh, I'm gonna kick Waka's ass now. Ah, no, 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 stop it. I'm not even doing anything. Shit. Perfect counter. No, I'm, I'm not even doing anything. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, 
Oh, I fucking tapped it too early. Oh, okay. Oh, again, too early. It's sometimes difficult to time his attacks. I realize I'm kind of somewhere else. Not bad, my sherry. What do you mean, not bad? You're all out of breath. What do you want, anyway? Oh, I almost forgot. I had a question for you. Have you been to Lake Harami over, Sh over on Shinshu Field yet? In the middle stands the Moon Cave, where Orochi's spirit was trapped. The barrier has blocked the entrance ever since Tsukuyomi was removed. That means Orochi must still be in there. I want to get through the barrier and enter the cave. But I'll need the Serpent Crystal in order to do that. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find it, would you? Why do you have to pull out your sword just to ask that? And why do you want to visit Orochi's lair anyway? So then you do not know. Trebian. Mm, so that big windmill. At any rate, I shall just have to find it myself. But before I bid you adieu, I have a prophecy for you. I foresee a doggone difficult quest. Au revoir, baby. The fuck, man. Anyway, let's try and beat Wacker to that serpent crystal. Can't have feeling he's up to no good. Plus, we just might find a new celestial brush technique. Oh, well, I expected a worse penalty for the amount of damage I took. Oh, well, no big deal. Either way, let's, um, let's at least go and deal with the Guardian Sapling. Oh, okay. Apparently, I don't. I'm not supposed to know what that does until I grab it. Ah, come on! Oh, some fish. And more rocks I can't even break. Am I too far away? Yes, I'm, I think I'm too far away. Oh, I gotta fix the fucking bridge first. There we go. Passed out with. And a fucking loading screen. At least the loading screens aren't so bad, it never takes too long. 
But that might be because it's installed on the hard drive. Tiger Pass is back to normal now. Without the curse zone, it'll be easy to find brush techniques. At first, I think Rimna has really piqued my interest. Did that Harpy Prophet mumble something about it? Ah, whatever, it's not going anywhere anyhow. Let's take a good look around Tarkar Pass, okay? I'm a bit worried about the people who live around here. No way I can feed something. Oh, birds, okay, I didn't quite see what they were. Right. Right, I could increase my purse or my health. Actually, thinking about it, I'm going to save up and increase my ink pot. I'm probably going to save my um, astral pouch for last, to be honest. I, I have not died once in this game, ever. I'm going to break your shit. You don't even have anything worth breaking. I just thought the curse would be blown away like that. Now I can get through to the city checkpoint and make my way home. Not before I've run that errand in Cursive Verge, of course. But it's hard to forget about those terrifying growls I made. Going back there isn't exactly an appealing idea. My wife asked me to get her one of those famous Kusap pinwheels. She only give me a wall if I go back empty handed. Then, which is worse, those growls are an angry wife. Right then, well, we've got a lot of side quests to deal with. But unfortunately, we're going to have to end it here. Oh, we made some decent progress. We got through the ruins, a new brush technique. We've healed the uh, Taka Pass, and I'm basically being a dumbass. We Right then. So enough fucking around. I think that's it for now. So, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a favourite, subscribe so you can become part of the Penguin Army today, and we will defeat the Cheer Squad. So until next time, fellow Penguins, Danish out.